Hello once more and welcome to the M&M show. On today's episode, we'll be cooking for you eggplant. Here we go. We're going to start right now by showing you the eggplant. Actually, look, when it's cut up, and this is actually the eggplant. Eggplant is actually a tropical plant and it has a gummy texture and a taste to it. So this is the first part I've already sliced up. And there's another part here that you need to know. Um, but when you're purchasing the eggplant, normally you want it to be actually the, the color context talks about it as a whole. This is very fresh, but if if the if the top part is a little bit dark, it means it might be a little bit soft and it would be a little bit gummy to the taste. So I'm gonna just show you a little bit of demonstration here. See how it is? this is actually a fresh eggplant because the top has a different, it looks like a little velvety color. It tells you it's fresh. If it's darker, like a brownish color, then it's not really fresh. You can peel this off. And I'm gonna show you a little bit how it looks on the inside. This is, this is a very fresh eggplant. And actually it has a kind of chewy texture kind of thing. Just gonna show you a little bit because I already have um, the ones I'm gonna be demonstrating to you today but i'm going to get into this and show you how it actually looks on the inside for preparation it's going to be uh we will be, be, be preparing it like uh the eggplant stew which is a little bit from most um most dishes that most people cook we normally cook um prepare our eggplant in this form like a little sauce um kind of thing with seasonings and the rest of it Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit part of this. As you call it, it gets dark. <laughs> it darkens real, real fast. This is the inner part of the eggplant. This is very fresh. When it's hard to the touch, it's very fresh. But when it's soft, if you're purchasing it, it's soft. It will tell. It tells you that the eggplant is not fresh. This is how you want. To, this is how you want the eggplant to look on the inside. It has to look. It has to have this color. It's tangy white and salt to, take to the touch. Some part, some part also have um, seeds in it. Towards the end of the eggplant, there's there's few seeds in the bottom, in the, in the end of it. Okay, this is how it looks. This is the top part of the eggplant, this is the bottom that has the seeds. The bottom part also always has seeds in it. And that's what we have here. Okay. This is a demonstration. We'll go to the next step. I'm going to show you the ingredients that I have today to prepare the eggplant. We have the turkey broth, my signature ingredient, smoked shrimp, half an onion um, cut up, garlic um, powder, three bouillon cube, and seasonal. Up here we have like almost like a, like a uh, tablespoon of tomato paste. Season a cut up chicken and we have smoked turkey. So we start off by frying the eggplant to show you how the stew looks like. But we start by frying it at first. All this hot. Okay. Okay. You want it actually on medium heat because as it fries, it might tend to stick down to the pot. When you realize that it's about to stick, all you have to do is get back on a low temperature to avoid it from like sticking down to the pot. When it fries, it gets very small and it doesn't look like it's like one or two. This is actually this is actually two eggplants that I cut up this morning. Here. Okay. So we we have to keep frying it and we'll be right back with you to make to show you how the end of the eggplant comes up like don't go away stay with us and we'll be right back now this is how it gets like i said earlier it reduces in, in, into the number and that's how it comes out so right now we're going to start off by putting a seasoning to the eggplant we'll start off with the onions there's a half an onion the cubes give it a little bit a little bit spare Garlic powder. 
you can use any oil of your of your taste to fry the egg in. I'm using canola oil. This is the seasoned salt. I'm giving it a stir because you want the season to go through that the eggplant stick. And we have the bouillon cubes here. I have three bouillon cubes. Another stir, because you want this eggplant is this kind of plant that um, it's a little bit difficult to get it seasoned, so you really need to know the amount of eggplant that you have and the type of season that you have to give it the taste that you need. So at the last part of this, we're going to add the tomato paste. Put the book. I'm going to have a tablespoon. I'm going to give it. Can we give this another stir? Okay. Make sure it's on medium heat now because you need it to fry out and you need, you need it, um, the ingredients to be mixing it to get the seasoning that you, that you deserve. So we're going to give this another stir. Now, if, if, as you can see, it's taking it out a little bit. <laughs> it has that gummy taste and texture. But it's very delicious when you actually put have the right ingredients mixed into it. Okay, now we're going to have the next ingredient. I'm going to put a little bit of the, the broth. Okay, give it another stir. As you can see, the eggplant has all like pied up into itself. <laughs> but mind you, it's very delicious and it's easy to prepare. My signature ingredient here. Okay. It's so delicious. If you're in this kitchen, you can smell it. it. Smells good in here. Okay, give it another stir. Now the eggplant is coming to itself. It's getting back. <laughs> All the ingredients is almost in here, and I can tell you right now, this is going real good. I'm gonna touch uh, temperature a little bit, and we just put it back on medium heat. Uh, it's about to cook. And this is the smoked dry shrimp. Okay. We've got another stir. As you put every ingredient, you need to stir it up because you want the um, the seasonings and meat to go to go around. The smoked turkey. Right there. Smells good already. You need to try. You need to try this recipe at home. You won't regret. We have seasoned chicken here. I'm gonna put all of it because I have enough meat. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Keep a little bit more here. And while cooking the eggplant, also you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of water. Because it's, it's very smooth and soft right now. You just need a little bit of water to take it down. So we have all the ingredients into the eggplant stew. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the broth just to cook it through. Okay. You can spice it up as well because my this the signature ingredient I have um, I have some hot peppers in there as well. So here you are. It's all together now, so we're gonna leave it for a few minutes and let it boil down with the simmer. And we will be right back. Don't you go away. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the MLM show. Today our topic was based on eggplants. Now this is the finishing part of the eggplant, and I hope you're gonna try this recipe at home. It's very delicious and it's easy to mix up with the ingredients that you like. I'm going to show you the finishing portion of the eggplant. And you can eat eggplant with any rice of your, of your choice. I have here basmati white rice. You can also eat it with um, parboiled rice. This is what we have for you today. And don't forget, try this recipe at home. It's delicious and it's very easy to cook. So until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. Take care and have a nice evening. It's bye for now.